Hey guys, today Peepaw, Cookie, and Callie and I are touring Daytona and looking at some of the quirky roadside things here that are related to the history of racing industry here in this area as well as some of our local historic sites. One of the places that we're stopping, of course, is at the International Speedway and I'm right outside the Hall of Fame going to show you some of the commemorative statues that are outside of here. So why don't you guys come along and see what I see over here? Come on, let's go. And we're looking for some of the historical sites and things that commemorate the history of racing in this area. So we are at the Daytona International Speedway and one of the things that is here that commemorates um, Big Bill France is this statue that you see of him and his wife Annie. He was the founder of NASCAR back in 1948 and he started out by owning a gas station here in the Daytona area and he built the Speedway in 1959. As they first started out, Annie was actually his VP and treasurer in the early years. And sadly, both he and Annie died in the year 1992, and this statue was erected to commemorate them in 1994. Been 20 nights and 20 days, lost without a friendly face. So you can find this statue just outside of the Daytona International Speedway no ticket office. From my soul. Emptiness is rising tall. Calling to my brighter side. Wishing for a place to hide. And this is the statue that is commemorating the life and career of Dale Earnhardt Sr. It's actually located on where the west next to the west entrance of the Hall of Fame here at the International Speedway. Place to leave the dark in me forever. Dale Earnhardt Sr. was killed here in a 2001 crash on the final lap of the 500 when he was 49 years old. He was a seven-time Winston Cup champion, and he's shown here from the pose that he did in 1998 at his uh, Winston Daytona 500 win. And he's holding his winner's trophy, which is reportedly his, was his most prized possession. The base of this is his car number three, and this sculpture was created by John Labia. It's a 1,200-pound statue, which was placed here in 2002. This statue commemorates Bill France Jr. His statue is right here where you walk down towards the Motorsports Hall of Fame. A place to leave the dark in me forever and ever. So guys, one of the things that I wanted to show you here was this park that's called the Birthplace of Speed, and it's actually in Ormond Beach. So come on with me and let's check out what I can see here. When I was looking up stuff about the history of racing here in the Daytona Beach area, this Birthplace of Speed Park was one of the things that was listed, and it has to do with one of the areas up around Ormond being the proving grounds for automobile inventors and drivers back in 1903. So as you can see, we're right by a beach access, right off of A1A. I will drop the what three words for you guys so that you can find this. And it's a very small park that's close to the location where the original Ormond garage used to be, which this garage burnt down in 1976. So this is a replica of it. But this right here, this little location right here served as the proving grounds for automobile inventors and drivers. 
and these first speed tournaments in the U.S. earned Ormond the title of the birthplace of speed. And this plaque here talks about the beach racers back in 1903 and it was a one mile race between Pioneer Auto Builders. And you can pause this here for more details if you want that. But you had rancher, you had racers that came from the US, France, Germany, and England. And they worked out of this little tiny garage. And this was known as the original gasoline alley. Henry Flagler actually had it built in the summer of 1904. But you had a lot of very well-known people like Henry Ford, Arthur McDonald, Fred Marriott, Ralph De Palma, Louis Chevrolet that actually worked out of here. If you look in there, you can see some of the replicas of the cars. But you can see that this would be a great place for you to come and eat a lunch, take a break. You're right by the beach. And right here, they have barriers across the beach so that you can't drive on that further north from this. So this is at the northernmost access where you can drive on the beach. And for you guys, for all of you folks that like um, motorcycle racing, here's information about Glenn Hammond Curtis, who set the land speed record of 136.4 mile per hour on his V8 powered motorcycle. And he held that until 1911. He also then went into aviation where he was known as the father of naval aviation and the founder of the American aircraft industry. And from 1903 to 1910, you had gas, electric, and steam cars that were running for um, the race course. And steam won in 1906 with Stanley's special streamlined Stanley racer, um, driven by Fred Marriott. You can see the record that they held there until 1910. And was a race course for um, cars and motorcycles. The first one happened here March 26th through the 28th in 1903. Ormond Beach became a venue, a favorite venue for motorsports and automobile testing and so this is the birthplace of speed later bill france senior founded nascar and moved everything uh, more down to daytona beach You're amazing watching till the end and remember clicking and sharing helps others find the channel so till next time guys keep exploring life matters see you later bye bye